Hello, this is Coach Duckworth bringing you another Zwift tip. <clears throat> Let's chat today about settings. Uh, a lot of people get confused on where to access the settings in Zwift. Um, I am now at the ride screen. I've already passed the connection screen and now I'm at the ride screen. Once you get to the screen and you select your workout or the route you want to do or who you want to ride with or what workout to join, um, you want to press ride. Okay, you will not find any settings in this screen. That's where a lot of confusion is. People expect to get the settings in this screen. Well, you won't. So you want to press ride. When you get into the world, um, you're going to find yourself down here in the bottom left. It will say menu. It might not always show up because this goes away once you start riding. And so you want to click on menu, and this is where you will find your settings over here. Okay, settings down here in the right. The reason you'd want to maybe access your settings is to change the trainer difficulty. Uh, the trainer difficulty, uh, what this does is it allows when you hit a hill, let's say the hill is 10%, it actually is only 5%. Um, it will only your trainer will only apply five percent resistance to your trainer. It's not cheating. Um, you still have to produce the same amount of watts to go up that hill. So if I had this at max or I had this at zero, it's all about watts per kilo anyways, and so it doesn't really matter. The reason why they have this is because if you hit the the uh, let's say radio tower at the top of the mountain, and you had this at max. I think there's some sections on there that are 20 plus percent. Now, that's okay. If you want to do that, that's fine. But if you're someone like me that doesn't want to shift gears constantly, then I just like it at 50%. It still gives me resistance. It's still hard, but I don't have to go down in my big or small chain ring um, to climb that hill. So I keep it at 50%, but you can kind of play with this and see what's best for you. Um, you also can come in here and change the game sound volume and the 3D world volume. I happen to turn them down. I think they get a little loud in my opinion, um, but that's that's my opinion. Uh, you can change in here uh, the power display. You could go instant or three seconds, uh, leaderboard, um, all this. But usually the trainer difficulty is where people want to find. Um, the other thing too is the settings, your customization of your actual rider this is where you're going to find it now you're not going to have access to all the items until you unlock them or you put in certain codes or you complete certain challenges so you might see people out there with the tron bike um, to access that tron bike you have to complete the everest challenge plus keep going um, another however many feet it's it's absolutely crazy i'm only at 75 percent but once this is complete and I get to 100, I will have that bike, and I am looking forward to that. Anyways, I hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, let me know. Um, I'm sorry, one more thing too. You can come in here and you can repair your items. This is really important. If for some reason during your ride it gets unpaired or you want to change your heart rate monitor or your cadence sensor, then you can come in here and do it if you forgot. Hope that helps. Any questions or concerns, please write them below, and I'll see you on Zwift.